We need to increase crop yields, and the question is, how can we do that? How can we feed the world? The secret to achieving major goals is to take things one step at a time. And the key to major solutions is fundamental research. On the one hand, we can just try to understand how something works. However, if this actually produces a product down the road which would help people, that would be deeply satisfying. My name is Wolf Frommer and I'm a biologist. It's hard to classify cell biology, physiology, biochemistry, biophysics, whatever helps answer the most interesting questions we have. Frommer went to the USA with his wife in 2001. It was his childhood dream and a true success story. Well, it's just wonderful here with all the water. We have a sailing boat, we can go sailing right here in the bay and the sea's within walking distance. It's been a fantastic experience to live in the USA. For Frommer, who was already renowned at the time, it was a research country of almost unlimited opportunities. In essence, for the last 15 years, I've been working under fantastic conditions at an institute where I could concentrate fully on research and where I can, of course, bring top academics into the USA from all over the world as well. However, all in all, if you look at the situation from the inside, I think it's changed dramatically from, say, 20 years ago. By now, Frommer is acquainted with the challenges of the American system. There are many fields in the USA where people think that the world was created 6,000 years ago, and passionately support this as well. These people don't want you to do research, and the general state of affairs in the USA is that everyone is responsible for themselves, and people don't want to pay taxes. And this is causing research funds to become ever tighter, which is making things more and more difficult. I have fantastic colleagues at Stanford and in my field at other universities who are suddenly losing their grants, their funding. Things are a lot better in Germany, and the funding from Humboldt is brilliant for me. The research conditions in Germany will be better in some areas, and I can fully concentrate on my research. The University of Stanford is located in the epicenter of Silicon Valley. Frommer's research has led to several key findings on fundamental transport processes in plants findings so fundamental that they can often be transferred to animal and human cells as well. The research question, how is sugar that is produced in the cells of the leaves transported through the cell walls and pathways, for example, into the fruit? And how is this mechanism regulated? Frommer has been researching the so-called sweet proteins that assume important roles in these regulatory functions. Almost accidentally, his team discovered the possibility to immunize plants against the bacterial blight of rice with a minor genetic modification. In Asia, this is an infection that is a threat to whole harvests. Frommer knows genetic modification is a controversial topic, especially in Germany. It is important to keep in mind that you can say no to an innovation. However, this no has consequences. When you think how many people in India are dependent on rice, then all they need is for their crops to be infected with the bacteria in a single year, and they will lose everything. Specific use and fundamental research on transport mechanisms in plants coincide here. The research projects, the test plants and the seeds, they're all going on this trip. The most important things that will come along are the projects, and the people involved in them, of course, as they're their projects. Many of them come from all over the world. America's easy because everyone there speaks English. If they go to Germany, they may have to learn German, or they'll worry that they'll have to learn German. But the majority of them are excited because they think they can make progress with their projects, and they're looking forward to the adventure. For Wolf Frommer, the new Germany chapter represents a return home, 30 years ago, he used to live and work on the banks of the Rhine River. Well, all the furniture will be packed and shipped over in two weeks' time. 
rübergeschifft. Düsseldorf, the C plus cluster of excellence on plant sciences, connects the university here with research institutes in Cologne and Jülich. New colleagues, new interdisciplinary research, a closely knit network to work in. The ideal conditions to perhaps use a resistant plant to help mankind. The main objective, deeper research into uncharted scientific territory. Well, I think science is fascinating because initially you only want to understand how something works. We know very little about plants and there's so much out there just waiting to be discovered. And that's incredibly exciting.